Hello, everyone. My name is Ethan Krieg. I'm a former technical recruiter and current full stack web development student here at Savvy Coders. During my time as a recruiter, I had the pleasure of speaking with engineers of all disciplines. I spoke to a lot of software engineers, and after my conversations with them, I would just leave. I was just left um, infatuated with hearing about the um, the applications, the features, the programs and projects that uh, these engineers supported. And that inevitably planted the uh, the seed for me to give this presentation today. So this is my full stack web development capstone. Uh, it's an expense tracker that I call Pocket Watch. And the problem that my application is solving is having, you know, all of your income and expense items scattered um, and not all consolidated into one, you know, central viewing point. Um, so why don't we talk about the design process a little bit? This is my user story map. So the demographic that we were trying to target with this application would be, you know, the common individual like myself or a small business owner, sole proprietor who just needs, you know, a simple user-friendly way to, you know, manage their cash flow on a day-to-day -day basis. And what are what is the user going to be doing in this application? Well, they're going to be tracking income and expense items. And what do they do during the experience? Well, they're going to log income and expense items and view those items as well. And what are they seeing or hearing? Well, they're not doing a whole lot of hearing, but they are going to be seeing um, a history of their income and expense items. So what need is this application fulfilling? It's fulfilling the need for a user, user-friendly and simple tool to allow someone to you know, track their cash flow. And what pain point is this eliminating? As I stated before, having you know, um, all of your financial information, you know, scattered in multiple places. You know, you might make a purchase on your credit card at some point in the day, and then you might use your debit card later in the day. And then, you know, that night you might um, use a check to pay your mortgage. And then all of your expenses um, are then just is scattered in multiple different places when you could all, and you could insert them all into one central place for easy viewing and tracking. And what do they need to accomplish in this application? They need to consistently log those income and expense expense items so they can have a true picture of what their financial situation looks like. Now, going over to my SWOT analysis. So the strengths we have with uh, Pocket Watch is that it is user friendly. Um, that was the goal here. It's user friendly and it is simple. We just wanted a easy tool to allow someone to track their expenses on a day to day. The weaknesses would be manual entry logging. There isn't any automation here. You don't get to um, uh, swipe your credit card um, at Chipotle and have that um, you know transaction automatically populated into this application. And then going off of that, there's no banking integration, so um, we can't uh, automate you know what happens with a bank account. You know if you made a purchase or if you got paid, we couldn't automatically automate those items into this application. And opportunities are new features, you know, instead of this, you know, standard nav bar, why not a sidebar? Um, uh, make it a little bit more responsive and a little bit more e uh, of an ease on the eyes. And maybe a, uh, a recent history section that shows just like your most recent purchases, um, excuse me, uh, transactions, whether they were, you know, expenses or whether they were incomes. Then maybe like a total section maybe could fit in down here, maybe. Um, like total income, total expense, and then, you know, the net subtotal, whether that be positive or negative. Um, and then the threats. Um, there is tough competition out there. You know, you have your your rocket monies, your tillers, your co-pilots, and they're very comprehensive applications. Um, and that would be another leg up going towards the data breaches. We don't have access to the same security and safeguards that um, those applications currently have. So that would be a threat to us. Now, why don't we go ahead and look at the wireframes. So this is the wireframe for my dashboard view. Uh, I didn't perfectly replicate it in real time with my application. Um, I did originally want a sidebar. Um, I held off on that as, um, as an effort to get out an MVP. Um, and also with the recent history section, as I you know said a moment ago, as well as the total section or updates um that i could make um but once again i forwent um doing that currently in an effort to get out my mvp and if we get the expense view um you know just a simple log box to you know you know uh, log an expense and then a, a history section of all of your expenses and you know incomes is more or less um the exact same 
And I didn't end up going with a transactions tab. So what I did instead, as you can see here, is did an about me and a contact me uh, page. Now, how did Agile play a role in this? So throughout the full stack web development uh, cohort, um, we participated in you know sprint standups, um, reviews, and uh, sprint retrospectives. And my role was that of the product owner. So I, um, I manned the JIRA board, you know, during all of these ceremonies, as well as um, creating and determining the priority of backlog items. I was also the stand-in scrum master at if the, um, the present scrum master was absent or for any other reason. So I would uh, follow those duties as well. And now let's jump into the application here. So as I said before, this is my expense tracker app called Pocket Watch. And right here, this is the dashboard view, my home view, where we have some ch nice Chart.js integration showing our income and expense items. You know, there's even some tool tips in there, so you can see which item is which, um, and they're even separated by color to kind of, you know, give it um, a little bit of a better look. And if I wanted to just look at expenses, I could minus out the incomes. And if for some reason I didn't want to look at either, I could do that as well. Um, and down here, I have my third-party API integration. I utilized an API called Top Gainers from Alpha Vantage. And uh, what it does is it essentially um, gives me the stock that um, experienced the highest um, percentage increase for that trading day, in which I call this the daily stock, and it displays in this template literal format. Um, yes. So if we go over to the expense view, it's, um, it's just a, a form to allow you to add the expense. And below, we have view expenses that will display, you know, a running total of all of your expenses. So why don't we go ahead and test it out? So we'll do a test of 500 for today. Go ahead and submit that. As you can see, it populates down below. And if I go back to my dashboard view, it comes up over here, the brand new expense. And incomes is more or less the same thing. So it, yeah. And then we get to the about me page. So this, um, you know, a little bit about me, I'll just go ahead and jump through and read um, through what we got here on the page. Um, hello everyone, I'm Ethan Krieg. As I said before, I am a former um, recruiter. I was a technical recruiter and I'm based here in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, during my time as a technical recruiter, I specialize in staffing engineers for major companies, including Boeing, General Dynamics, Raytheon and Lockheed Martin. This experience ignited my passion for the tech industry, particularly in software development. Now I'm focused on transitioning my skills and expertise into a career in full stack web development, leveraging my understanding of the industry in my recruitment background to excel. And what do I like to do for fun? I love to travel to places that I haven't been before. I always love to see new places, experience, um, you know, uh, whatever, wherever I go has to offer. And though I was a recruiter, I am still introverted at the end of the day. And I love to, uh, you know, geek out and play my video games. Definitely a little bit of a nerd. Um, I love watching sports. I grew up playing football and soccer. Um, so just waiting for, you know, football season to make its way back. I love cooking. Um, I like to, you know, find new recipes and experience new flavors. Um, and then what do I want to want out of tech? I want to build applications and develop features that provide value. I want the flexibility to either work in office or remotely from home. And I want to develop a skill set that will provide a healthy living for me and my future family. Now going over to the contact me page. So this is just some plug and play code that I utilized from form spree. Um, so I basically just plugged it in and styled it out to what you see um, right now. Um, and I'm not going to test this out live because it does take about two to three minutes for me to get a response. Um, so if someone were to put in their, you know, name, their email address and, you know, a message as to why they're reaching out, it would take about two to three minutes and then I'll get that response in my main email. Um, so I guess talking about my biggest blocker when it came to my capstone project, the biggest hurdle for me was this charge JS integration. Um, the problem was, um, I had to make three API calls simultaneously in order for my view to work. And uh, the final solution that I came to was to make three Axios await calls in my code so that in my router hooks function specifically, so that um, the page would render, you know, automatically, um, even if, you know, one of these API calls failed, but we tied them all together 
um, so that they could all happen at the same time after the page had already been rendered. And that was the biggest hurdle that I had um, with, uh, with my capstone. And I guess let's talk about updates for the future. I did kind of go over this lightly before, um, but um, I guess referencing uh, my uh, wireframe where I kind of had a recent history section over here. Um, I, in my wireframe, I did have totals down below, but I'm thinking it would look nice over here on this right side and shifting the graph over to the left. So recent history section, and then you know the totals of income, expense, and the subtotal of them all. So that is um, my uh, my capstone, my capstone project, uh, uh, Pocket Watch. Thank you all um, for listening. You know, whoever is listening, I just appreciate your time. Thank you for taking the time out. Hope you have a great rest of your week. Take care.